Hey guys, Chris from CD Duct Tape here, here to show you how to make a duct tape iPod 5 case. Uh, I've seen lots of iPod 4 cases on YouTube. Uh, didn't really like the whole fact that there weren't many iPod 5 cases. It's the same gist, but I mean, there's still more to the iPod, so I'm going to be making one, but there's a twist to it. It's also going to be part wallet. So pretty much you're going to take a card or your money, anything like that, and you're going to be able to slide it in the top like that. And uh, you are going to have money in there, so uh, that is okay if you ever carry money around and uh, you have your wallet separate and then your iPod in another pocket. Kind of sucks, I know. Uh, I already made a few cases, but they weren't uh, iPod 5 cases because I had my iPod 4 at the time, it was all cracked. So I got my iPod 5, and that's why I started to use it. So you see, I got my overprotective case here. I don't really like it because it's so big. So let's see here. Look at the comparison between this iPod 5 and my case. A huge difference. I mean, it does protect. Bouncy. I mean, I can drop it five feet off cement, and it'll bounce right back up to me. But anyway, first, what you're going to want to do. Put this aside, is uh, draw out or uh, keep your iPod on you, but you can uh, draw out an exact version of your iPod and uh, put some holes where you would need to cut. So uh, you'd need to cut out the camera here, the mic, and the flash, plus the two ports and the speaker, obviously. Unless you don't use your volume, then that's okay if you don't cut it out. So first, what you're going to want to do, my computer took a shit on me, so I have to redo this. But you want to take two, um, two uh, flat pieces of duct tape. Make sure it's five inches by two and a half inches. Uh, I know that's a little bit over. It's a one eighth over the actual measurement of the iPod 5 case. But uh, we are going to have to trim it a bit, so that's what you're going to want to do. So. You're going to want to take this and uh, trim it once you get done. Uh, sorry, I wish I would have got this video uh, posted, but my computer felt like being an asshole to me and shutting off. So, got to redo it, but that's okay. So, this is the exact measurement. So, you want to do it 4 and 7 eighths by uh, 2 and three eighths that's the exact measurement of an ipod 5 i'm pretty sure if i got the measurements wrong please tell me in the comments um jesus christ i'm missing everything today can't speak worth crap and i can't do duct tape worth crap today i'm having a brain fart so you're willing to want to cut this Huh. You can see my blade is broken off. I spazzed out looking for my Velcro and I just kind of smashed it on my board. Now it's uh, all bent and the tip broke off. But I mean, I don't want to replace it yet because it's still a good blade. Uh, just the tip's not on it. But anyway, the first trim doesn't have to be perfect because, again, we are doing more than just that. Sorry I didn't get the binder done. Uh, it is actually finished, I'm using it currently. But, uh, I'm just going to get the videos done. It's just a pain. But uh, don't worry, I will be finishing this. So i got to stop at about 5 minutes before my computer takes another crap on me. It's kind of a pain when your computer says reconnect every 5 minutes. Sorry, my dog's barking continuously. I have no clue why. Probably drunk again, or whatever. Alright, so let's trim it. Alright, so we'll get the trimming done, make part two, and uh, hopefully my computer is fixed by the time I get back.